Hello and welcome to National Play Day 2020 with me, Jo Recreate, in, in collaboration with Dublin City Council. It's so great to have you here in my creative den um, and today we are going to be doing a little workshop to get you started on making your very own games. Now I am a big believer in thinking that the old games are the goodies and we're going to be adapting some of those games here today um, and then you might even catch a little glimpse of me playing them, uh, racing myself against the, the clock. Um, so I've been thinking about different things um, and I have materials here from Recreate, our Recreate warehouse, uh, but you might be looking at things that are in and around your home that you might be able to play with and create. And perhaps you're making games that you can do inside or maybe for the outside, or maybe it's games that you can do both inside and out. Um, so I, like I said, I collected some materials. So I have some cups here, which I thought might be quite good for, um, what, do they, what do you call them, the things where you can run around them, uh, markers that you can run around. I also have a coffee set sack here and I was thinking of a sack race. If you didn't have a coffee sack like this, because I'm sure probably not many people do have uh, the avail these sack races to hand, um, you might want to use an old pillowcase as well that could work. Um, I wouldn't recommend using anything plastic because it might be a little bit slippery and we don't want any injuries. Okay, so that was one of the ideas. So you could use coffee cups for markers, you could use the sacks for doing a sack race. Um, now I also love the classic egg and spoon race and I thought actually that it would be way more fun to make a spoon rather than use one that I might have a, in at home. Um, I'm sure hopefully people do have spoons in their homes, but so I've got a piece of card that I was literally just going to draw a spoon out with. So I've got my marker pen here, hopefully this marker pen works, because it always happens where the marker pen goes back into the pencil case. Oh, this is a very big handled spoon. And maybe we'll just try and make it look a little bit more like a spoon, maybe give it a fancy pattern on the end, so we're decorating it. It doesn't really look like a spoon, does it? Mm, looks like, I don't know, maybe like a mirror or something. And then I was going to cut this out, and then I'm going to make my own egg to go on my spoon out of newspaper. So this is just one of the things that you could do. One also thing that you could do, which is really good fun and more timing against each other, is if you start collecting things like lids uh, that are two different types of lids, um, so you might have like white lids from like milk uh, or maybe uh, jam jar lids or something. So you collect, I don't know, say 20 of each. You put them into a bu into one bucket and then they ha you have to divide them up. So you might have your milk bottle lids going into one and your larger lids going, your other lids into another. And the idea is to have them all mixed together and then to sort them into the separate buckets. That's just one idea of things that you could do. Kind of like the cube. Um, games from the Cube, which we are very inspired by in Recreate. Okay, so let me see now. I'm going to make an egg shape. So this is a great way for making um, scrumpled up newspaper. This is like my favourite thing to use for creating 3D things. So I don't know, this is not very eggy, but what might happen is once I start getting the masking tape on it, it might start to be become a bit more eggy because I'm going to try and mould it as I go. Eggy, eggy, eggy. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> Do you like to have a good sing when I'm making and creating stuff. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely not eggy shaped. Maybe you guys will have a bit more better luck, but this is just an example for you. You could also use a real egg as well, obviously. Okay, so we have our lovely egg. I, ooh. Oh, there's a flaw in my plan. See, this is all the, about creating and playing, is that now my spoon is a little bit wobbly, so I might need to just give it a little bit of a reinforcer at the back there, something to make it strong again. So I'm going to use the same bit of card that I've got there, cut a little strip off in the opposite direction of the... What I mean by opposite is you'll find that there's a natural curve, a natural bend in cardboard. So as my spoon is bending that way, I don't want the cards that I'm putting on to bend the same way because otherwise it won't fix it. I want the, the, the bend to go the other way. So rather than 
that way. I hope that makes sense. It's very scientific. So I'm just going to cut out my reinforcer, tape that down. And you could make a whole multitude of cutlery. <laughs> so we're still a little bit floppy. Okay, add a bit more on. Snippy snap snap. I'm actually going to sandwich it and put a bit on the front, so it's not going to be very pretty anymore, but oh well. C'est la vie, spoon. Okay. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, now. Du, du, du. Whoa. So that actually actually works quite, quite well. Um, so you could make up a few of those. So you could have different team players, like your family. Each one could have a spoon, and then you could race each other a distance. One other idea that I had, um, oh, sorry, just thinking about my egg shape here, um, is you can also make like a ring toss or a hoopla kind of thing, um, and coconut shy as well. Uh, but maybe if you are doing some kind of like relay race or something, um, you might have to go around the markers, hop around the markers or something, then jump into the sack, then do your egg and spoon. And then the next one might be, uh, you have to get one ring onto a tube. Um, so like a ring toss type of thing that just stood there. Um, you have to get one and then maybe you could do the, ooh, what could you do? You need something balancing on your head, I think is a really cool idea as well. So you could do not only the spoon, but you could have a piece of cardboard uh, attached to your head, so maybe on a hairband or a hat or something, a uh, piece of cardboard, and then you could try and balance an egg or a ball or something on your head, or you have to get it a certain distance. You might even want to put a little lip around the edge of that. Um, so this is how I make my hoopla rings, and they're actually quite strong. So then what you would do is you just wrap the masking tape or your tape or whatever around and around and around, and that's quite firm, and it actually is quite aerodynamic as well. So it kind of is a good thrower. Um, what else could you do? Oh, I've got a big, I could just see out, out of shot here. Sorry, I should have brought it a little bit closer. I'll tell you what I will. Um, we have this lovely net stuff in at the moment, but you could use a net um, like a, in your, that you might have hanging in your window um, or a curtain or something and lay it down on the floor. So you have to kind of crawl army style on the ground on your belly so you're doing a mixture of games and uh, maybe an, an obstacle course so i'm going to leave you there i'm going to meet you in the park in a few seconds so you can see me trying to beat myself at uh, playing games in the park so thank you for joining me i'm going to say thank you now thank you for joining uh, me and recreate and dublin city council for national play day 2020 and we look forward to seeing your creations and your races would be great um, uh, on our social media platforms come over and see us sometime okay take care bye